He was a familiar name and face here in Sioux Falls. Longtime bar owner John John Obad passed away yesterday from cancer. Kettle Lands Dan Santella spoke with two of his good friends who are sharing what this beloved member of the community means to them and others. behind a wife, daughter, and loved ones who just speak glowingly about him. John Bott, or better known as John O, once owned Botskis on the east side of Sioux Falls. As you scan the walls, it's hard to miss the passion he had for his community. Friend Mike Kleindentz owns the bar now, but says it's still John O's. John O entrusted the bar to me, you know, so I'm kind of the caretaker of it. It's still his bar. It will always be his bar. Kleindentz and Mike Papp paint similar pictures of their good friend. Always the best friend, somebody that I could talk to. Um, we shared a lot of trips together. Uh, we go to Canada fishing together. Never turn on a radio. We could talk for the 10 hour trip up into Canada and all the way back. Never turn on the radio and never say the same story twice. He has that, 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 that personality that you want to be around him all the time. Um, and you know he is as loyal as the day is long to his friends. He will do anything. He's the most generous man I've ever met, uh, without a doubt. You may also remember Jono's on the west side of the city. You may have even heard of his music festival, Jono Fest. Everybody knew him. You know, his giving back to the community. Uh, he, was, he was very generous to people. He was generous to organizations that needed sponsorships for softball or football. He was... He was a people person, uh, a, a person everybody wanted to be around. Um, he made you feel like you were a best friend, uh, close. In lieu of flowers, the family asks you donate to the Dollars for Scholars program at Laverne High School or the Multiple Maloma Research Foundation. John's visitation is this Saturday from 5 to 7 at First Lutheran Church. His funeral is this Sunday at 3. Starting at 6.30 on Sunday, there will be a gathering at Botsky's. Kleindentz says they're ready for hundreds of people to show up.